Hello everyone, welcome back to the walkthrough. So, as our first day of being a golf pro, it is time for us to watch some TV. Hey guys, Max Yard with another exciting course vlog. Sure, Max gets the spotlight. Today I'm playing Cheeky Beak Peak. This course is quite windy, so the trick is to try and keep a wind ball down. <laughs> Unfortunately, I suck the ball so pure that high shots are a sad reality. Sure. <laughs> However, it is possible to influence the ball's flight after you hit it. Watch. Get up! Get up! Key the club! Stop drawing! Stop drawing! Sit! Sit, 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 stand! <laughs> Talking to it does not help, I assure you! But maybe it does for him, because he's a pro, right? 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 No. Over Jude just a bit and flew a bit long into a bunker. Should make bogey from there. But it could have been a lot worse. Sure. Sure. <laughs> Alright, so, catcher's coins. Remember we got all five of them. So we probably should go ahead and check out what's going on over there. I just haven't gotten back to being over here, but there might be something awesome going on regarding them. You know, you know, you know, maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. How's it going? I found five of those coin things. Welcome to the club! I am <laughs> I'm now a catcher, I guess. I think you might be ready for an elite catch. Okay, so I'm not a catcher. And I just so happen to have the clue ready. Hmm? In a place where great distances can be covered in fewer steps, in a clearing once empty is where I am kept? Huh. Hmm. Hmm. Huh. I don't... Did the... Hmm. Are they talking about, like, Wellworn Grove, uh, Deep Rough or something like that? Like, remember there was all that bare ground and stuff like that, and we got the... I mean, we stole the grass from Cheeky Beak Peak, so maybe some of this stuff, it, uh, like around here, has maybe, perhaps, got a digging spot? I have no clue, because, <laughs> I, I mean, did these, even without the, uh, uh, the grass there, you know, it's still tech, I mean, with the grass there, excuse me, it's still technically a clearing, so I don't know if I'd really think that this is the solution per se, it's just, I don't know, it's an idea that I have. I don't know if it's sound, but it's an idea that I have. Uh, I might as well go over here to the first hole. Wasn't this the first hole? I think it was the first hole, maybe... Ah, uh, hmm. I don't know. I guess I'll check out the driving range. <laughs> it's my only other lead. Oh yeah, uh, speaking of the driving range, I never really did attempt to hit a ball at one of those um, washers, did I? You know, clothes or dryers or something like that. I don't know if it's a washer or a dryer for clothes, but it's one of the two. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, drop a ball, try and hit over in... Oh, I, oh, they put me back with the antique clubs, I got to switch them over. I'm going to go ahead and try and hit over into one of those washer dryers, and... Ha! That seemed... Uh, huh? I... I... That sound... That sounded like I got, like, experience points, but it didn't show on the screen. Did you hear that? Listen, I'm gonna hit another one here. At least I think I'm gonna hit another one. You never know with, with golf, after all. Okay, listen. Yeah, it does sound like I'm, I'm getting experience for hitting them, but... I, 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 um, yeah. <laughs> uh, wait, is that all of them? No, nope, no, there's another, another washer here. Yeah, I think this is a, I, I think I mentioned this before, but I think hitting the, uh, wash machines, or trying to get inside the wash machines, is a reference to Rory McIlroy facing off against a golf robot who is taunting him the whole time. A very funny video, if you ever, if you've never seen that on YouTube. Um, but yeah, what they were doing was they were trying to hit balls into said washing machines. And, uh, well, I'm not going to spoil it, but yeah, very, very entertaining stuff. You've got to check out, if at all possible, if you can locate that. Or maybe I'll link to it in the card or something if I remember to. But anyway, I think I hit all the washing machines. So it looks like, since I don't really have a, a decent lead, 
I'm going to play some golf. <laughs> Not gonna deal with the catcher's coin thing, I guess, now, because I, I really just have no idea uh, what that clue even meant. I'll probably have to... Like, maybe something will come up, like maybe I'll notice something different somewhere else or or whatnot, but in any case, uh, where was golf? Not golf, golf, wasn't it this? I think it was this, because the other one was Lorraine's office. Right? Yes! Here we are. Got a new cartridge here. I found this box. It says Golf Seasons on it. <gasps> you got Golf Seasons? <laughs> That's a rare game! Yeah, man, we should have a go sometime. My house doesn't have a television built into the wall. <laughs> you want it? Thank you so much! Oh, look! A uh, sick! There's a poster inside the box! Wow! I can put it up on the wall! <laughs> oh, he really is gonna put it up! <laughs> Wow! How great does that look? It's quite nice. You have somewhere safe to keep the box? No, 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 why would I want to keep the box? You might treasure it someday. I will never want this. <laughs> I would have taken it off your hands. I could take it out of the bucket. Never mind that rubbish. We've got golf seasons! Come on, let's fire it up. Oh no, we got another manual to- uh oh. Oh, poopers! Can I take the box? Oh, I cannot take. Maybe, maybe he just won't let me take the box because he's looking at me. He just make it make him look like that. He doesn't want to be a garbage stealer or something like that. All right, so let's see who he got here with golf sees. Oh yeah, so he can choose what we want to do. Ah, <laughs> uh, should I try? Winning? Like, is it gonna be different than the first? Oh yes, it is different. <laughs> Oh man, maybe I should just have like a a single part just reading the golf manuals like as a bonus at the end or something because I know it's it's gonna be lengthy. But for now, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and page through these uh, with a decent amount of space in between them so that you can pause and read it yourself if you would like to. But yeah, I don't I don't know if uh, this is really fitting for a regular part. That's what I mean. <laughs> Notes, notes, lots of notes. Alright. Let's uh, toggle it, press the X button, and let's start our game. Is it like a whole different series of physics and stuff like that? Or is it like, it looks like, okay, it looks like the basically the same thing. Uh, at least, I think. But now, um, I better, better know my distances here. <laughs> uh, oh! That was horrible! What? <laughs> All right. Oh, oh, geez, it put me back there. But I crossed over land where those trees were. Well, well. Yeah, I'm gonna try and curve it to the left a little bit. This. Uh, oh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, well. Okay, it's putting me at least back up over there. Uh, can I hit driver? Probably not. Ooh, yeah. Okay, I can hit driver, but that didn't look like it. Like it had backspin when it landed. Yeah, this is. If I'm gonna ever hope to shoot under par in this game, I'm gonna have to probably play it a whole bunch of times. <laughs> oh, yeah! Look at that beautiful score. <laughs> Next hole! Uh, I'm, I'm guessing it's gonna be eight holes, just like the uh, other one was. Probably. And I get the idea of golf seasons. Because look at the trees, it's like fall right now yeah anyway let's go ahead and wow oh <laughs> fantastic starts we found the naked crab too to, to boot okay i'm gonna try going just straight then if i go in the trees i go in the trees or <laughs> oh geez yeah this is definitely gonna take me a lot of practice to get anywhere close to where i want to be score wise okay yeah there we go I didn't think they would, that would work out that well. We did it. We got on the green and sort of recovered. <laughs> that could actually be an eagle hole if you did that on the first shot. Uh, okay, so what season is this? Maybe like a wintry coming to type season, perhaps? Maybe? Anyway, I'm not going to overhit this this time. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Hopefully not, at least. Here we go... A little bit to the right, so it curves. Oh, 
Oh, that's bunker, not rough. Okay. Well, no, wait, what am I doing? What am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm hitting the Y button, that's what I'm doing. I, I'm used to hitting the Y button to more precisely change my uh, distance control. I'm still... Oh, that's snow, not bunker, so I am in winter. But anyway, <laughs> I just realized that too, but yes, yes. It should be... Oh, no, I hit sand wedge! <laughs> ah, it didn't automatically give me putter. <laughs> okay, we're, we're going to get in the hole eventually. There we go. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah, that's... Oh, no, this is not going to be pretty. <laughs> like, I don't know what club... Like, like, I don't know what my distances are for these clubs. I'm taking just guesses as I go, but I don't know how actually... How a how accurate I am with them. That's kind of the kind of the difficulty that's going on here. <laughs> Which is also a lot. Ah! <laughs> okay, at least they put me on the green. I'll take it. Uh, sandwich. No, Potter. Thank you. Oh, I actually made it. <laughs> kind of surprised by that, but well, I'm 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 sometimes doing pure brilliance, so other times I am shooting horrendously. <laughs> okay, so I want to probably curve my ball left to right for the curvature, so I'm going to do something like that. Oh! Or not. Okay, I'm going to aim up there. At least it's a par 5 this time. I have a, ch I have a chance, since it's a par 5, to get back on track with my brilliant score. <laughs> I'm going to assume that's 3 iron distance. <laughs> or not. <laughs> <laughs> Dang you, lazy crocodile. Dang you. Okay, so I'm just on regular grass, I guess. Five, five iron or six, six iron? Probably six iron. Mm, okay, six iron was the club. And I'm guessing uh, that's the right angle? Uh, mm, I don't know. <laughs> Two over par again. <laughs> Fantastic playing, PK Gam. <laughs> yes, this is obviously my first time playing this, but details, de <laughs> you know, blind walkthrough and all. I'm going to try and get over there and really, it did not roll out anywhere close to as far as I thought it would have. Man, well, actually, I'm, I should try that again, but this time hit a little bit to the left of the center mark. Yes, there we go. Okay, <laughs> just to go in that little clearing there. Sand wedge, and a little touchy touch, boink, and we're on, all right, like a pro, beautiful. And are we in though? No, we are not in, that is not like a pro, <laughs> two over again. <laughs> yeah, this, this is also, I mean, the golf here is also probably going to end up being like a bonus part on top of the manuals because uh, I need a lot of practice on this sucker. And what, are, are those like flower fields or something like that? You may find out if I miss hit badly enough to get in one to them. In, in, get in one of them. Mm, pitching wedge, maybe? Sure looks like it could be. I'm gonna hit a little off to the left so it curves onto the green, yes! Okay, this, this has hope for a birdie. Oh, I mean bird! <laughs> We're back to being a pro with 12 under par. By the way, this is definitely so, so much harder than the first one. <laughs> Wait, what? Is that telling me it's like hitting the wall or something? Or am I... What? Where was that sound that... Oh, oh, I'm changing clubs. Whoops. Whoopsie doodle. Okay. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. Uh, I should probably just hit straight out there. Whoa! Yeah, looks good. And I guess... To that patch of fairway over there with a little bit of curvature. There we go, okay, we might be getting the hang of this after all. As I probably end up in the flower field or something, whatever that is. <laughs> I'd rather be long than short on this shot. Or, well, I ended up sort of short, but it still worked out. Uh, hmm. eh, yeah, part. I'll take it. I'll take it. So uh, that appears to be the end of this version of golf. I've... I play fantastic, look at that! <laughs>
<laughs> just like the NES game, I, sh I would shoot very poorly until I got the hang of my club distances and the way that the ball reacted and stuff like that. And then, and only then, could you shoot under par. <laughs> Alright, so he got him got him a poster, we checked out the catcher's clo clo coins, or, and we became a club member, I, I guess. Sort of. Even though we got another catch somewhere, someplace. Maybe. Might be. I'm not sure. I mean, yeah, he did say it is somewhere, but I don't know where it is. <laughs> so I guess there is, but I don't know where to look is what I mean. But with that, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when maybe I've gotten more things figured out.